Season 6 is off to a rick start, and fans are eager to discover what the future holds and what new adventures they will go on. So, here's what we know so far about Season 7. The Emmy-winning animated series from Dan Harmon and Justin Roiland has reached a balance between the absurd and philosophical, as well as being downright hilarious, much to the delight of fans. And that is precisely what we expect for the upcoming seasons. Season 5 of Rick and Morty had a shocking twist at the end. The central finite curve and the Citadel of Rick's, which had been built to block access to any realities in which Rick wasn't the smartest person in that universe, were destroyed by Evil Morty. As a result of Evil Morty's use of portal fluid in his scheme, the main Rick, Rick C-137, is no longer able to travel easily between universes. It's impossible to predict what strange mystery Evil Morty will uncover, but you can be sure it'll be something sensational and odd. The upcoming season will probably be centered on what happens after Evil Morty destroys the Citadel and the Central Finite Curve, as well as what he finds in that strange world. How Rick will function in a multiverse where he is no longer the smartest person in the room is yet to be seen. Even though the sixth season hasn't ended yet, fans are already asking when the seventh season will be released. Isn't that fascinating? You'll just have to wait a little bit longer if you're also impatient for Rick and Morty's seventh season, which has already been confirmed. Through its first five seasons, Rick and Morty's quality was remarkably consistent, with each new season receiving high praise from both critics and viewers. Despite not quite making the same splash as its predecessors, Season 5 still provided the superb writing and animation that viewers had come to expect. It will be interesting to see what the series can accomplish with a long-term story in mind after Adult Swim's significant extension. Fans of Rick and Morty had learned to adapt to the long gaps between each new season of the show, but this new 70-episode renewal appears to have significantly compressed the schedule. Despite the fact that the COVID-19 events since March have had a negative impact on many film and television productions, it appears that Rick and Morty has benefited. The lockdown, according to Harmon, helped the show's crew focus more on the writing. Given that information, it's not surprising that Season 7 planning has already begun. It will be easier to release those seasons on schedule if the creative team is working ahead. Additionally, viewers now know that Rick, Morty, Summer, Jerry, and Beth will be around at least through Season 7. However, it appears likely that there will be even more given the order of 70 episodes. Considering the rapid production schedule in comparison to earlier years and using the previous two seasons as a guide, the seventh season is expected to debut in mid to late 2023. The best chance for a big comeback is in September or November. The writing for season seven of the show is already finished, so it is now approaching steadily and will be back on our screens in less than a year. Let's hope they continue the success of the first two seasons. So, without further ado, Let's look at the actors and actresses who will be featured in the seventh season of the show. Since the show's beginning, the series regulars have been the show's highlight, and of course, they will return for a seventh season. Rick Sanchez, an alcoholic and brilliant scientist whose stories form the majority of the show's plot, is played by Justin Roiland. Morty, Rick's grandson and sidekick, is also voiced by Justin Roiland. Sarah Chalk plays Beth again. Chris Parnell plays Jerry, and Spencer Grammer plays Summer. So if everything goes well this season, the same characters will appear again in the eventual seventh season. Now before we continue, we'd like to remind you that if you haven't done it already, it's time for you to smash that like button! In recent years, the show has become more reliant on guest stars, with Elon Musk, Taika Waititi, and Steve Buscemi all appearing in the previous two seasons. Season 6 might also feature an ensemble of guest stars, but we'll have to wait for the creators to reveal the new arrivals. Which celebrities do you hope to hear as the voices of some characters in the upcoming seasons? The seventh season of Rick and Morty will depend on how the sixth season turns out. After Morty destroyed Rick's fortress and the finite curve, the fifth season came to an abrupt end with a cliffhanger. 
Rick's only reliable defense against the possibility that someone else in this universe might be smarter than him was the finite curve. The third episode of season six of Rick and Morty, titled Bethic Twinstinct, confirms that the show's biggest family changes are canon. Rick and Morty's Thanksgiving episode this year focuses on Space Beth, the newest member of their unusual extended family. Although Rick originally intended to keep the original Beth on Earth and send the Beth clone into space, he is powerless to prevent the two Beths from coming into contact and connecting. The episode Bethic Twinstinct clearly shows that Space Beth will not be absent from the show. The Smith family changing universes in Rick and Morty season six serves as a soft reset for the show. The characters were placed in a universe that is similar to the original one by Rick and Morty, rather than one that is entirely different and also home to Naruto. At the conclusion of Rick and Morty season six, episode three, Space Beth made a reference to Naruto, showing that he is still part of the canon and that he won't simply be forgotten. Like this episode, Rick and Morty season six, episode one, tries to establish Space Beth as a dependable member of the family. This demonstrates that Rick's actions continue to have consequences and that he was unable to simply abandon Beth in space. Keeping her on the show makes sense because she positively disrupts Beth's character arc. Even though it might be seen as a cop-out, keeping the Smith family together and giving Beth what she really wants adds depth to the show and makes the Smith family dynamic more interesting. Since the final episode of Rick and Morty season six reveals that Jerry is okay with the Beth on Beth relationship, as long as he's involved in it, it also reveals character development in Jerry. It would be a waste not to do this with the extended family, since Rick and Morty are careful to make even the most bizarre plots unexpectedly reappear with plot relevance later in the show. Characters that initially seem unimportant, but later make significant plot contributions were everywhere in Rick and Morty's history. Rick and Morty prove with characters like Evil Morty that it holds its canon consistent, even though the episodic nature of the show seems to contradict the larger plot. While Space Beth returns to space at the end of season six, episode three, her bond with Beth prevents her from completely disappearing from the show. Aside from episode one, Rick and Morty season six has mostly centered on self-contained stories, portraying wacky one-off adventures as compared to the show's more continuity-focused arcs. Generally speaking, from what we can tell, season seven will likely take the same course as season six, digging deeper into Rick's past, discovering more about the family, and determining whether Rick will make amends with the past. It's also imaginable that Rick and Morty splitting up in the upcoming season will be both a promise and a threat. As a result, it sounds like you need to smash that subscribe button and notification bell so you'll never miss any of our videos in the future. <laughs> Even though some of the recurring characters and ideas have come and gone, the show's earlier seasons made a lot of inside jokes out of fan desire to learn more about Rick's past or tell episodic stories about his battles against the Citadel. The show has never been short on brilliant ideas to use on different levels, but in recent seasons, particularly in the last two, the question of how it all fits together has become extremely important. See you in the next video!